Welcome back to part two of the series. In today's video, we'll be discussing how to save the template and use it in Builder to generate many more strategies. So I'll see you inside. So now I can save this as a template and use it in Builder to generate more strategies. But currently, with the way it is, there is no variation because everything is fixed. So I need to randomize these. So for example, what if I want to test the SMA close if it's 75, if it's 100, if it's 150? So to do the random numbers for the simple moving average, you need to go to setting, go to advance, and switch the template on. So now it's on. When the strategy template is on, now I can pick the uh, simple moving average. Now I want to test the period. So I will go here and say generate randomly. Now I don't want the default. Again, the whole point of this is to have control. So what we will do is we will use starting from, let's say, 50 days to 350 days, step 25. And if you don't know how to do this, there is just to hover over the question mark and you see the parameter will be generated randomly, or you can define its range in step in the field. For example, one five from two step. So this is from two steps. So from 50 to 350, step 25. Okay. And this we will call regime filter to identify it. Okay. So this is for long, long regime filter. I'll copy this so I can use it in the, so confirm. And now you will see that the SMA have changed to random. This is the identification, long regime filter from two step. And then I can do the same, of course, for the short. And I will come here and say, generate randomly. And in default, I'll say 50, colon, 350, colon, and 25. And then we'll call this the short regime filter. Okay, so now I'm going to test if the close is lower than Bollinger Bands, then go long when the if the and the price is below the uh, uh, regime filter. And the regime filter we will test from 50 to 315 step 25. The Bollinger Bands, I want to test it also. What if I need two and a half standard deviation? So we can go here and we can go to the standard deviation and we'll say generate randomly. And now the standard deviation, I'll go from one and a half to three, step point one. And this is the long Bollinger Bands identification. Also, I'm going to test if the moving average that's Bollinger Band is tested on. So I'll go from 15 to 30, step 5. And we'll confirm. We'll do the same here for the short. So the moving average, 15, 30, step 5. And for the standard deviation, one and a half to three, step point one. And this would be the short Bollinger Bands. Okay. So now I have the Bollinger Bands changing the uh, standard deviation and the moving average. And I have the regime filter and I will do, I'll put it back to 
greater and lower okay also I'm gonna test my exit so now I'm exiting when the price is above the middle what if I want to exit faster so then I can go here and say generate randomly so I'll pick from 5 to 25 step 1 and this is long SMA exit and for the short I'll do the same I will generate randomly from 5 to we pick 15 uh, sorry 25 and 1 and this will be short SMA exit so I will exit also I might as well change this so I'll delete this the exit after bars and I will go back here add it as a condition which is bars since entry okay and it's the current simple and this is the long direction but now I'm gonna change this from 1 to 10 step 1 that's perfect so long bars exit and it's all same here bars since order open current one short and we'll do a random generated number and this will be sure bars exit so this is my template now I will test all these variations when the close when the price closes below Bollinger Bands and I will test all combinations when the Bollinger Bands standard deviation changes from 1.5 to 3 in step point 1 and from 15 to 30 in step of 5 for the uh, SMA. And I will do also the regime filter from 50 to 350. So if I save this now as a template, and we will do that. So save, save as, and uh, We'll just pick a name and store it on the desktop, maybe. Okay, so I'm gonna put it here and let's call it uh, mean reversion at ES. And let's call it version one. So we'll save it using SQX and save. So this is now my template mean reversion at ES version one. Okay. How can I test this now? We go to Builder. Let's clear our database. Memory cleanup. Clear log. Cleaned everything. Okay. How we're going to test is we'll go to full setting. What to build? You pick strategy from template. And we will pick a QX we will go on to SQX SQ4 okay so we're gonna browse and I'll pick it select so now I loaded my template strategy settings is loaded okay now I can still adjust 
for example, long and short, symmetry or not, I'm not going to pick symmetry. Okay. And we're going to use this random generator. Yes. Conditions. We're going to use our own conditions. Stop loss. Not required because I have the two exits. I will keep an option, but it's not required. Profit target, not required. I'll keep an option. Data, I'm going to use at ES daily and reset the dates. And let's pick as before 2010 December. And the reason I do this is between uh, 2003 and 2010 there is all kind of market uh, behavior so volatile quiet uh, short long so we can test all this and usually in sample out of sample I do uh, this which is to pick randomly so for example from October 2000 to April 2001 that's an out of sample and then you get an in sample and then out of sample this is this is better than picking 70% in sample and 30% out of sample okay and we do the commission per trade at 2.5 and then we have spread is one slippage is one then we go to trading options Everything is off except this. Maximum trades per day is one. I'm not going to touch building blocks. Money management is one because this is used in the uh, strategy. And then I'm going to disable all cost checks. Ranking, I just want profitable and trades more than uh, 15 in sample. I'm going to build 1,000 trades and keep doing it until data bank is full. Go to progress, start. One eternity later. Okay, I stopped it. And the reason is because, silly me, I picked improve strategy and not strategy from template. So browse, pick. My strategy template and then I go to data from 2003 to 2010 and I pick uh, the many and sample out of sample and I'm only gonna have one trade building plugs no touch money management one contract no uh, and only profit okay and then we start so now these strategies they're all based on what we ask the template so for example long entry is when the close is lower than Bollinger Bands this is always going to be the same it's always going to be when the close lower than Bollinger Bands the only difference is going to be is this so for example this is 925 and 194 for the short entry and the long exit signal will always be when the price go above the SMA or when bar sense entry so all these see they are the same except just little variations in these so I already generated 1000 strategies with variation in only what I ask it to do. Okay. And of course you can, uh, we can pick the, this is all profitable of obviously, we picked it as profitable. Let's see, trade analysis, long short, So, of course, you get the idea. 
of course you can filter them with ranking and do whatever but this is now the template for this uh, in another video I'll do the template for a momentum strategy basically what algo wizard allows you to do is the best of both worlds now you can use the builder to generate random strategy of anything you like and now with algo wizard you can build a, a specific strategy and do the variations on it so i hope uh, you like this video if you do please uh, subscribe and uh, click on the bell button to be notified when a new video uh, will be posted thank you for watching i hope you got some news out of this video if you like it please subscribe to get notified of new content